Welcome everyone to Conversations for Peace. I'm Marcy Newman, your Hardship Coach, and here we are at Today 26. So today I want to just talk very briefly about some more of the conversations that I've been having, and particularly, of course, um, how peace seems to be threading its way into almost every conversation that I'm having. Now you might say, well, sure, of course, you're leading it in that direction. But the truth is, is that it seems to be, regardless of what the original intention of the conversation was, peace is somehow making its way in there. And when it does, I just sort of smile and, and probably even laugh a little bit, whether it's just on the inside or on the outside. But I'm so in awe always how the universe provides us this evidence so that we know it's got our back and provides evidence so that it is reflecting back to us exactly where we are vibrationally. Now for me, I know that this month-long quest to have these conversations for peace has been such an incredible opportunity. It has brought phenomenal realizations forward from myself as well as others who have participated in the programming, and we have more. And so what I'm, I'm taken by is that we all have these different perspectives and of course different recommendations for cultivating peace and we all have perhaps even a little bit of a unique take on what peace is, but energetically, it's the same. So what does that tell us? It tells us that there is a specific vibrational frequency for peace. For those of you who have been tuning in every single day, you may have actually experienced almost an immediate alignment with the energy as we start to come into our focused intentions. And so we have to really start to pay attention to, number one, how we're always provided this evidence, and number two, how it's always in our favor. Because regardless of what is being reflected back to us, it's either in alignment with what we say we want or in alignment with what our energy is expressing and may not be exactly what we say that we want to experience. But I couldn't help but think how we are at this pivotal time in humanity where we have all of the science that has been working so um, incredibly hard to keep up and to maybe even sort of come to a, a common space where those of us who have been living by spiritual law, have been understanding spiritual law, understanding that regardless of whether science has been able to provide evidence to us, that the universe has indeed been doing that all along. And so we do have science now and science that is providing a wonderful foundation for our understanding. So what does it tell us? It tells us that we are coming together in a collective consciousness where the foundations for expansion and extension of energies like peace are being provided for. What does that tell us? It tells us how essential it is. It tells us that right here and right now, whether we are consciously aware of it or not, this energy is important. It's important for us to be putting our focused energy into because we must anchor into this energy. Nothing is created on a whim. Everything is created very purposefully, and it is created as an extension 
of the needs that are being that are being offered up by our higher selves knowing what we need in order to be fully supported going forwards we need only to look historically at how this has happened for those of us who have entered into different periods of history with a particular level of consciousness we've had a completely different awareness than what has just seemed to be um, unfolding so if we look now at what we're being offered we are being offered an opportunity to see firsthand how we can harness the energy of our 2020 hindsight we can look behind us and say, you know what? All those times where we thought that peace would be created from war, well, hmm, none of them have really worked out the way we expected it to. We can look back and we can say, oh, all those times where we thought that force and control was going to initiate peace and we see that it didn't. And even perhaps in our own lives where maybe we were either the, the subject of someone else controlling us, trying to exert pressure or manipulation and experienced firsthand how it created turmoil within us. But it also creates that same turmoil in those who are seeking the control by manipulation. Why does this happen? Because peace is our innate energy. It is at the very core of the energetic field for each and every one of us, we have been created in the highest vibrational frequency of energy that creates all universes. Any time that we are separate from that, that we are out of alignment, we are in turmoil. And we begin to project that energy out, the energy of turmoil. And it of course creates chaos and war and we find ourselves in these cycles of trying to right ourselves but trying to do it from the energy that has created the chaos and so here we are this incredible time in the history of mankind where our collective consciousness is at a very high level and so we are seeing that we are being offered this opportunity to come together, not just seeking out peace, but that we have the ability to create it. And I have to go back to um, how many times we have been told, we reap what we sow. Every seed that we plant will grow something. If we are intentionally planting seeds of peace, our harvest will be of peace. We will reap what we sow. That peace will be there for us, no matter what is happening all around us. We will have aligned with the energy, been able to anchor into it, and the universe will have provided so much evidence for us that this is our truth, and our true nature, that we will be able to sustain it. And that's why we are doing what we are doing here. We are addressing the cultivation of this energy into a more expansive role in our conscious awareness, because we know that the times that are upon us require that we anchor in to a sustainable energy of peace.
and all energies of that same vibrational frequency. At this point, it is a matter of survival. It is a matter of us shifting from being a reaction to the energies around us as opposed to being the creators. We are shifting from being reactive into proactive. Reaction, proaction, taking action to create what it is that we want to experience. And so I just want to leave that with you. And I want to leave it with you with an emphasis on the action. This is not something that you can just sort of push aside or leave for somebody else to create. It must come from within you if you want to reap the benefits of being able to anchor into an energy that has the ability to sustain you. So this is a call for action. Moving into your heart, aligning with your own true nature and the only energy that has the potential to create the life and the world that you want to live in. And of course, you want it for those all around you as well. So if you haven't yet, tuned in and received your seven ways to cultivate peace or your own peace pledge, please go to heartshiftcoach.com and get your copy now. Carry it with you. Put it in your pocket. Every time that you're feeling the least bit off center, pull it out. Just read it. Feed the energy that you want to see more of within you and around you. And now, of course, I'm going to take my peace pledge, which I have done for the past 26 days. And at this point, it's everything that I am. I pledge to extend peace into my circle of influence through cultivating my own peaceful heart, my clear intentions, taking absolute personal responsibility for my beliefs and what my beliefs create, for my thoughts and what those thoughts create, for my choices and what those choices create, for my actions and what those actions create, and my experiences and what those experiences create as they then extend out into the world around me. And I do this knowing that when I'm aligned with that true nature of which peace is an integral, integral energy of my true nature, I am able then to extend compassionate action. And I take this peace pledge very seriously. And now I pass it to you. So I'm passing it from my peaceful heart to yours knowing that this peace awaits you the moment that you choose to connect with it. And so, many blessings to you. Peace within, peace out, and of course, I'll see you tomorrow right here. Bye-bye.